Put your hands together, a man who came all the way from across the pond. A very funny fellow. Please put your hands together for Jim Longoria. <laughs> Join in, help me with this one, if you know it. If you don't, join in anyway. Well, there she was, just walking down the street singing. Snapping her fingers and shuffling her feet singing. Not enough songs for there's not enough songs written about retards these days, <laughs> I find. Yeah, I'm from England. Um, for those of you that don't know England, we won second place in the American War of Independence. <laughs> Sorry, is it too soon? <laughs> They're rioting in uh, London at the moment, don't know if you've seen the news, yeah? Watching the news reports, looking at the... Uh, the places that they're looting, electrical stores, cell phone stores, Hallmark, it's not looting. Christmas shopping, come early. <laughs> it's the English way. <laughs> so when I started in comedy, um, I was a black comedian. <laughs> and uh, which was great, because I, I had the whole routine there. And that's what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm saying? She. <laughs> we'll be laughing at them later. <laughs> now, English accent. That's heavy. English accent, it comes out. What ho, badass motherfucker. I'm going to go home now and smack my bitch up. Speaking of which, I'm here with my wife this evening. <laughs> I'm in so much trouble now. Here with my wife this evening, we're not talking. We fell out over the weekend and absolutely disgraced herself. Had a night out with the girls on Saturday night, came home absolutely blind drunk. And there she is at the front, ladies and gentlemen. Point. Hide your shame, woman. Rolled in three o'clock in the morning, woke the kids up, blue chunks in the kitchen. I should have explained there, chunks is our German shepherd. Wait for the laughter to die down. Yes, it's funny because my, <laughs> my wife likes dogs. She rescued this bizarre little chihuahua thing. Um, I absolutely hate the fucking thing, and it hates me. Um, people say dogs, they, they're not malicious. They don't do things um, out of anything other than instinct. But it's managed to get hold of a little cake icing novel. novel like a Stephen King story, isn't it? Cake icing, the sequel. A cake icing nozzle, which it sticks up its arse and writes, fuck you, on the living room carpet. But the worst thing with the dog is, it, it, it'll run off and it just won't come back. It will not come when you call it. So I thought, right, I'm gonna train this little shit. So I actually Googled, no word of a lie, this is true, I actually Googled how to make your dog come. <laughs> very, very interesting afternoon on the internet, that was, I can tell you. And got some, uh, very good German specialist G DVDs from that as well, <laughs> which was good. If anybody wants to borrow them, see me after the show. <laughs> so I was helping my eight-year-old lad with his um, social studies homework the other evening, and he said, um, he said, Dad, uh, I don't understand this, um, this thing here. He says, uh, he says here that 40% uh, of American preteens um, are sexually active, and 50% of American preteens are overweight. He said, Dad, he said, who's fucking all the fat kids? <laughs> Anybody I've not offended yet? <laughs> so I thought I'd fuck a morbidly obese woman. Something to do. And uh, went around to see her. This is before I was married, obviously. 
went around to see her, and this woman was huge. She was the sort, sort of size where you know the cream that they have to buy to stop their legs from rubbing together and chafing. I think, to be fair, if you need to buy cream to stop your legs, legs chafing, that's God's way of saying lose some weight, you fat bastard. And, and she was just like 500 pounds. And I said, I'm sorry, I can't do this. How am I supposed to make love to you when I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going? Quite simple, she said. Just pick a fold in my belly that's not got fungus growing in it. I think I... <laughs> he said, I can't believe he's just said that, which is great. I'll leave you with one last statistic, ladies and gentlemen. We moved to Houston from England, uh, we did all our homework, and he said, statistically, 7 in 10 Houstonians live next door to a pedophile. Frightening statistic. Not me, I'm lucky, I live next door to an incredibly hot seven-year-old. Now we've offended everybody, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you for your patience, it's been a pleasure. Good night. Jim, you were saved by four seconds. I was going to give, I was going to give the band a cue. Oh, God bless you. Give it up for Jim, everybody. Jim McGuire, all the way from England, living in H-Town.